Pride's full opening lead of the bike pod. They are sprinting away. Vanessa's Pride fly jumper is among the leading group early on. Ricochet flyers quick on the left hand side. Banker in the center of the track is well positioned and Frisket has a good position. Feisty Courages with the yellow cap, a length and a half off them with Vanessa Spride. Lineker at this stage in the blue silks is six or seven lengths off the leader, then Mighty Mississippi on the outside of that, Real Bath Beach, and then comes Secret Success towards the inside as Go Direct. Frisket and Banker, these two cutting out the pace, and Ricochet Fly is now being asked to quicken up. On the outside is Feisty Courage with the yellow cap. They'll follow it further back by Mighty Mississippi. Lineker starting to run on towards the outside, and then comes Go Direct. As they come down to the 300 meter, Bankert and down the inside, Frisket, Lineker, Ricochet Fly all trying to run on. It's Bankert and Frisket over the last 200 meters from Ricochet Flyer. Go Direct also running on, Lineker on the outside, Frisket down the inside, Lineker still warming up between them as Ricochet Fly also getting into the race. Lineker and on the inside, Ricochet Flyer. Lineker's going to win it, Lineker won it. Second, Ricochet Flyer, Go Direct ran third. So victory is for Lineker. So Lineker is victorious, number five on the program, and shows up at seven rand forty for Lineker. At seven forty, the toad favourite ends up the second horse, number eight, Ricochet Flyer. Lenica took a while to get into his stride. So did Ricochet fly, and there's only three parts of a length between the two. Go direct, also a very nice run, number four, back in that third position. Frisket ran fourth, then number one, Bankert. They were followed further back by Mighty Mississippi, and then came Secret Success. So the head-on will show Frisket on the left, and Bankert is with the red cap. These two are doing battle, and then the two horses in the middle of your picture, the green cap of Ricochet Flyer and Lineker in the blue silks really take off, and they go on to fight out the finish, but the victory is for Lineker. And Lineker on the tote, as I say, 7 round 40, a race time 71.75, until the second, back to the studio. Well, trainer Dustin Snate just has the two runners this afternoon at Scottsville and he's come through here with an Aussie import number five, Lenica, in the colours of prominent owner Mr. Michael Leaf. And I just got a text from Paul saying that this horse was bought at the Magic Million sales by Michael. So well done to the owners here. Let's have a chat to the winning trainer who is Justin Snate. Justin, firstly, you know, I just want to touch on the numbers that you're allowed to bring down and of course you have to limit them with regards to your juveniles, try and mix and match. So the juveniles that you brought down are the ones that you must think highly of. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Um, it's, uh, I, I bring the juveniles uh, that, I'm, that the family allow me to bring. I'm not allowed to bring any juveniles that, um, you know, like our, uh, I'd say our horses that would probably make three-year-olds. But um, there was a reason for me bringing some of the two-year-olds that are brought, either they owned by Natal owners or they've been bought on a sale with the idea that they would run in, a, in one of these ready-to-run sales. So this horse qualifies for the race in Johannesburg. So I've brought him here, Michael and I were chatting about it, to then maybe go on to Johannesburg and, and contend uh, the ready-to-run race. So that's the only reason we'd, I do not bring uh, two-year-olds here unnecessary or to bring them for the good weather or anything like that. Um, I do it if, as I said, if the owners do live in Natal, then it's obviously, that's why they, they want to see their horses run. But um, I'm glad I brought this horse. Talking about the source, you know, on uh, pedigree, etc., is obviously bred to do over a bit further than this, so therefore outpaced. But I like the comments that Delpes gave when he jumped off. You know, he's a horse that uh, he likes and he gave him a good feel. 
Look, I very much don't like my horses winning first time out or reading them up to win first time out. There's no glory in it. Um, long term, you just do, tend to do more damage. Um, I like a race to bring them on. And I think uh, the way Anthony, I knew Anthony was the right guy for this horse because he wasn't going to give him a lot of stick work or anything like that. And Anthony's very kind when it comes to a horse. So I, I was very happy to have him on because um, I knew the horse would come out of this race really well. So, uh, you know, looking forward to, to a, a good future and to, to Michael Leaf. Um, it's been fantastic the way when the, the July, the objection happened and, uh, the, you know, it's just so nice that it's done, it, it happened with such good people and uh, so great, grateful to have Michael Leaf now in my yard as well, so very happy about that uh, and, and looking forward to some good uh, racing with him and to John Freeman who saw this at the sales and said to Michael, please, we've got to have this, so just, just well done to all of them. Fantastic. Before you leave, just the one more runner coming up in the next. And uh, another horse that uh, first run in the province was impressive at Gravel. Also, very immature type of horse. I'm very impressed with his first run. Um, uh, I know there's some very nice horses in this next race, but uh, I think he, he'll give them a, a run for their money. Thanks for that, Justin. Well Thank played, you. well done. Thank you very much. And all the best to owner Michael Leaf. The gentleman that's been waiting patiently is uh, jockey Dalpesh now. Yeah, you have to talk us through it. Firstly, I, I saw you readjust your saddle behind the stalls. Yeah, no, just my lead bag slipped a little bit forward, so we just made sure that things stays on properly, and yeah. Fantastic. Before we come back to the interview, Craig, uh, with uh, some uh, uh, word upstairs, Craig Peters. Thanks very much, Dees. Please note, concerning the race review, it was in concern with the third horse. There is no further action. Stand by for the all clear. Thanks, Dees. Yeah, there was a race review, Bonds, but uh, no further action. Now, coming back to this individual, yeah, he, he was slow away, but uh, he really kicked on smartly. Yeah, he, he was a bit laid back, you know, and uh, yeah, and going halfway through the race when I started asking him, he started picking up, and when I got after him, and he quickened up nicely, and he's, he's a lovely horse. You can see, he's, I don't even think they've pressed him. I didn't think they expected him to win today, so it's just pure ability, that's why he won. It's amazing how the race changed over the final 100, 150 metres or so. Those horses in front looked like they were going to go on at it, but you guys came with a good late run, so obviously these horses are going to come on and come on smartly. Yeah, I thought they were going way too fast in front there. They were really going quick, so I knew we were going to get the front horses. I thought Sean Cormack was the only horse I was concerned about. When I, when I got to him, I thought his horse might kick on and, and beat me, but he just shows he's a lovely horse. Uh, he's going to improve with this run. Looking at the balance of your rise, you got some nice chances later on? Yeah, the filly in the next uh, has got a, a chance. I, I think the race is very competitive, but she's a lovely filly. She's still very mature, but she's got a lot of ability. And uh, I thought my last two rides may be my best two rides. Thanks for that, Bonge. And uh, before you leave us, how, how's the track running? Uh, it's in good condition, and it's, it's nice to see horses winning towards the outside. Well played. Thanks very much, and to my sponsor, Aventure. Thank you. Well done to Jockey Del Pes. And again, well done to you, Michael Leaf. I'm sure will get this DVD and watch it repeatedly. Number five, Lenica has come through to win for you on debut. Horses to pencil in, no doubt, number eight, which was Ricochet Fly. Very green. I saw Jockey Sean Cormac hard at work, a long way out. Did exceptionally well to finish second. And also a nice debut from number four, Go Direct. Eight, five, eight, four. And uh, three, Frisket also running a nice race uh, for the Michael Roberts yard. So five, eight, four, and three. And that's the first leg of the bipod done and dusted. No further action with regards to that race review. Thanks to Craig for that. But race number two is coming up next. It will be the start of the place accumulator. Time to jot down 13.05, five past one. Coming up next, the first leg of the PA.